Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. So I'm hoping this is going to be the last video on this front wall siding. We're going to push pretty hard for the next couple of days to try to get all these details done. So the thing I'm working on here is getting the frame around the big set of windows. Once that's done, then we go to getting all the battens in place. That's a lot of sawing and a lot of drilling to do, but we'll get there. We're still playing a game of tag with the rain. It's back and forth. One day the sun is out, the next day it's raining, and it sometimes changes just in the space of a couple of hours. It's made it pretty hard to get any hang done, but it has given me some uninterrupted time to keep working on this job. Alright, with the window frame done, it's time to put up this trim batten that runs horizontally along the top of the wall. I like using this horizontal batten because it just makes it much easier to get a good seal along the top of the wall. I like to cut this 30 degree angle on the bottom of all my battens. It helps guide the rain away from the building. So these battens are, are now all in place, but I still have to put a Tapcon screw into the bottom of all of them to hold them against the foundation. So this is where there was a real weak spot in the original siding that was on here. The only thing holding these short boards on at, underneath the windows was a screw in the top of the board. There was nothing in the bottom. So I've been curing that by using these Tapcon screws. It 
It is an awful lot of extra work, but these boards are not going to fall off. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying this video, and if you have, don't forget to give it a like. And I'd really love to have you to subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any thoughts, questions, suggestions, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to the work. That is a hot, dirty job that is pretty tough on the back. Well, this is the last little job, just getting the downspout back in place for the eaves troughs. Well, that's pretty much it. With the exception of some little finish up details, we've got it. So today was a real brutal day, very hot. Spent a lot of my time down on my hands and knees getting these bottom screws in, but that's okay. We have a little bit of touch up to do. I want to fill some of these screw holes with some dark brown uh, caulking that I've got to cover them up and patch up the frame a little bit. And then of course, clean these windows. But besides that, yeah, this, this wall is done. That is really good. That's very rewarding to get this thing finished. So I thought we were going to be haying today, but uh, my neighbor decided that the hay still wasn't dry enough. So we will be haying tomorrow. So I really wanted to get the majority of this done. It was a real dawn to dinner time day today to get through this, but I'm really happy with it. It looks good. It's really solid. Nothing's going to flap in the wind anymore. <laughs> and that is a relief. And with the uh, house wrap on, that should help cut down the drafts and that type of thing. I still have to put caulking around the outside of the window between the window frame and uh, the inside window here. And as I say, patch some of these little holes, but but that's it. That's all small stuff that I can finish up in an hour or so. But that won't be today. 
it is break time and dinner time. So we're gonna call it quits for today. So if you folks have been enjoying these videos, please give it a like, share it around, and I would love to have you subscribe to the channel. That would really help. So tomorrow we're off hang. So remember to be safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time.